hello my beautiful people how you all doing welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by please do hit the red subscribe button down there and also click the bell sign beside it that way you will get the notification each time i upload a new video and you lovelies will come and check it out so those of you who have subscribed to my channel before that keep coming back to support me one way or the other may god bless all of you so guys i have this audio that i want to share with you guys i will need you guys to listen to it very carefully please it's very important if you know you are busy you can leave it later when you're less busy you can listen to it this is very important we all need to be careful especially those in nigeria please eh? and after listening to it please share the video let me leave you guys to listen to it then after that i will come and say my own opinion what i think about this because I don't know why people are so mean, so eager to make quick money, not minding how they made the money. Like, I don't understand. Let me leave you guys to listen to this. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. This is, in fact, I am just... I want to say this from a saddened heart. Nigeria has turned into something else. And we need to be very, very careful. Everybody wants to make money in a very terrible way. But before I say anything, please, you need to share this audio. You need to share it. Share it to everyone. What I want to tell you is a real life story. It happened to me. I will not tell you the state I'm talking from, but it is in the East. It happened to me. Okay. Three days ago, I went to the salon to make my hair. So they were the ones that lost my hair for me. So when they combed the hair, I expected them to like remove the um, the ones in the comb, the shed out, and just drop it on the fire. And later they just pack everything. But I noticed that all the customers in that salon, once they comb our hair, they just remove the hair and put in a nylon. It is only attachment they are allowing to drop on the on the floor. Okay, they were making my hair for me. So after I've washed it and everything, I just noticed that a young man came. He packed. My hairdresser opened the drawer. A, a salon drawer. Brought out like seven of that same kind of nylon that they are putting our natural hair into packed it in one big nylon and went to give the young man outside i was like ah, what is happening so when the woman came back i called my husband who is a police officer that something is happening here that I don't understand why they are keeping and somebody already came to collect some. So when my husband came, he came with like three police officers. So when he came, they had to interrogate the woman. And the woman said for a full nylon bag, she collects four hundred and fifty thousand naira. A full nylon bag of air. She collects four hundred and fifty thousand naira. 450,000. Just imagine. My husband is here. Imagine. So I want to beg us. Ladies. Women. Even those of us that used to take our young children. To the salon. Please. If your children cannot make it. Let them just cut it. Cut it for them with scissors at home. Or just be very very vigilant. Everybody wants to make money in your crew. No be pant only then they still do they don't they still air too. So thank you very much, my brothers and sisters at home. Please pass this message. You can save somebody's life. And to all men that will listen to this message, please pass it to your wife, to your daughters, to your sisters. Because you can never know who this message is saving.
So guys, you guys have listened to it yourself. You see why I said it's very important for us to share this video because I know that this video may save one or two persons life. This is not the first time that this kind of a thing is happening. Actually, the one that happened at Lagos, that was my friend when she went to make her hair. She went to Lagos market. I can't really remember the name of that market. So when the lady was making her hair, she noticed that several hands were making her hair. And she told the woman, please, can you give me a mirror? This one is not a salon. It's a market. You know market now where they make her and her hair. So she told the lady to give her the mirror. And she said no, that she cannot give her now, that they still have a long way to go, that she shouldn't worry. Very soon the hair will finish and she will give her mirror to look at her hair. So the woman kept on making her hair and the lady was not comfortable because she noticed that several hands were making her hair. So what she did was she took her phone. You know your phone, when your phone is off, it, it's kind of like you will see yourself through your, uh, your phone. It has this mirror that you can see your, your face. So she raised her phone up and looked at it. She saw several hands making her hair and she shouted, Jesus. You see, hmm, God, this one is not them say them say. Oh, this one happened to my friend. In fact, she actually went to church to give Thanksgiving because <laughs> it's not even only making the hair. Who know what would have happened after she might have finished the hair? Nobody know. So you see why I said we need to be careful, please, hmm? my people. Yeah? especially those back in nigeria when you want to take your daughter to a salon it's not every salon you see you take your kids to to make their hair not the kind of people you take them to it's very important please yeah? just tell me the reason why that young lady she just opened a salon to sell people's hair not even minding what those people are doing with those people's hair like the way people love money they don't even care how they make the money all they know is let them make the money another thing i want to say here is please ladies when you want to go and make your hair pay attention with the people around you pay attention with what is happening in that salon don't just sit down they're making your hair therefore you don't want to know what else that is going on around you had it been that that lady did not pay attention she wouldn't have noticed this you see so please we need to be careful not even only women even uh, young men too. Yes, young men too. That they do cut their head and they will pack their... You don't even know what they are doing with your hair. God will save all of us. We will not fall into this their temptation, honestly. Eh? Please, share this video so that it will go viral and people will be conscious of what they are doing. Please. That will be the end of this video, guys. Please, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Or probably you, you might have heard one or two things about this or you had the experience. Let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, please, sweetheart, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe and click the notification bell. Because one of my friends, one of my subscribers said they don't get notification each time I upload a new video. Make sure you click the notification bell. That way you will get notified each time I upload a new video, okay? And to those of you that keep coming back to watch my video and you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. It's totally free. They don't charge you for, for subscription, okay? Enough of this long talk, guys. <laughs> With that being said, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video. I love you all and bye for now.